Did you have nightmares at the time? Because obviously it's quite graphic. <laughs> I love like scary stuff, so it didn't really it didn't really bother me too much. And it is funny how like, I mean, I guess that's where the acting comes in. But the set was the set was. I mean, it looked amazing, but it wasn't scary. Everybody that you love is all around you, so. You just kind of have a good time. I wasn't scared by it. So it is funny when people are like, oh, I watched the first episode and I couldn't sleep. And I'm like, oh, goodness. You know, it's funny. That's a good reaction. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. That's what we were going for. <laughs> were you worried about your family seeing it? And in that, you in that kind of state? Or, or did you not really? You wanted them to see it? Um, I don't know. I mean, it is kind of weird to, like, watch yourself. I think I'm, like, my own worst critic. But they were, you know, very excited from the very beginning and won't stop talking about it even now, which is great. I mean, I think that's what families are supposed to do. You're like, Mom, but... stop taking a selfie with me, all right? Forget it. <laughs> no, for real. Like, whenever she sees, like, any Barb merchandise, she's like, I want it. I'm buying it. It's too much. And I'm, I've told her to stop several times. But <laughs> she's wonderful. It is, like, it is funny, though, because I remember, like, when she saw, like, Barb's, like, rotting corpse on the TV she was not even remotely disturbed by it. Okay. She was just like, hmm. And I'm like, cool. Like, my parents are not traumatized by, like, my dead body. I wonder what this says about my family. <laughs> oh, wow. Where's the strangest place you've seen Bob's face? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, somebody got a Barb tattoo. And I couldn't tell where on their body. I'm a little afraid to know. But... It's there somewhere. Somebody is going to have my face on their body for the rest of their life. Was there strange, like, nooks and crannies you worked with what was what? Thankfully, no. I, I, think, I think it was, like, a leg or something, which seems pretty safe. But if, I'd be quite fat if someone got a tattoo of me on their bottom. <laughs> Would you? Yeah. I mean, really... <laughs> really At intimate personal. times, I'm like, hi. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> so you haven't seen your face on, like, a bum bag or, like, a, I don't know, a wheel of a car or something like that? No, not yet, thankfully. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I love that. Let's talk about The Stranger Binge. What is your advice for someone that's going to sit down and watch it back to back? Oh, it's, it's a real... Um... It's a real marathon. I've done it before. When the show came out, I stayed up all night and like watched it all in sequence. So wear comfortable clothing, have snacks nearby so you don't have to leave and go to the kitchen, um, sprint to the bathroom, don't, don't hurt yourself, and yeah, have a good time, I guess. Have like some coffee and a thermos by you so you can stay awake. A massive thermos a yeah. vat of coffee yeah. but you don't want to drink too much though because then you don't want to have to go to the bathroom all the time you could always have sit in a commode you could just be prepared just be chilling there <laughs> and then you don't have to worry about it i can see all these homemade com commodes and it's frightening isn't it <laughs> i'm sure somebody's done it i wouldn't be surprised <laughs> so the rule is no pausing no fast forwarding no rewinding no you have to just sit through it wow that's incredible and what's your confectionery uh, choice Oh, that's hard. I'm big on like sweets, so I like like candy and Twix. Um, but I'm also big on like popcorn. I worked at a movie theater for years, so it's weird because you'd think that you'd be tired of popcorn after like being around it all day every day. But I still like it. I love that sweet or sweet or salty. Oh, a both. Oh, Any, just all mixed kinds. it up. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Surreal for you, having been involved with that, and now you're in front of the camera. Yeah. Well, that was kind of my thought process at the time because I was, you know, trying to make it as an actor and I hadn't gotten any jobs. And so I figured if I couldn't be like in movies, I wanted to be as close to them as possible. So. Amazing. Yeah. And you're still working, which is amazing. Yeah. And what did you learn on set from the lads, from the cast members? What was the biggest thing that you took away from the whole thing? I mean, I kind of learned everything on set. It was my first job, and um, I'm so grateful for all of it. I think, I think I just gained a new level of confidence because, you know, it's hard to know if this is what you're meant to do when you haven't done it yet. And so for me to go through the process and have these crazy, like, 14-hour days and be exhausted and still wake up in the morning and realize that this is what I love, you know, I think is the most rewarding feeling. So I think that's kind of what I, I got from it. Air high five to that. Yeah, love you. it.
to look, you know, simple when you can look stunning. I'm really sorry, we're very drunk, but we don't give a Hey, girl! No, she ain't hear me, she ain't hear me. <laughs>